Dear children, in this video we are going to see about binary subtraction from chapter 2. We know binary means combination of two digits, 0 and 1. So here we would learn how to subtract a binary number from another binary number. First we can see about binary subtraction table. In this table contains two different set of binary digits A and B with its difference and borrow. Let's see here, here first one 0 minus 0. When we subtract 0 from 0, we get 0 as a difference. Here we didn't borrow any bits from previous position. So its borrow is given as 0. Next second one 1 minus 0. When we subtract 0 from 1, we get difference as 1. Here also we not borrowed any bits from previous position. So borrow is given as 0. Next third one 1 minus 1. When we subtract 1 from 1 we get difference as 0. Here also we not borrowed any digits from previous position. So here also borrow 0. Next fourth one it's very important part in binary subtraction. That is 0 minus 1. Here we not able to subtract 1 from this 0. So we have to borrow 1 from next most significant bit. Here the next most significant bit of 0 is 1. So when we borrow from this 1, this 1 will become into 0. Now this 0 will become into 1 0. Now we can subtract 1 from this 1 0. When we subtract 1 from 1 0, we get 1 as a difference. Actually the basic concept is the decimal equivalent of 0 1 is 1. The decimal equivalent of 1 0 is 2. So when we subtract 1 from 2, we get 1. Like that only here also we get 1. Which is a equal and binary number of or decimal number 1. That is given here when subtracting 1 from 0, borrow 1 from the next most significant bit. When borrowing from the next most significant bit, if it is 1, replace it with 0. Here, when subtracting 1 from 0, we have to borrow 1 from next most significant bit. Here, 1 is our next most significant bit. When borrowing from next most significant bit, this 1 replace with the 0. Next point, if the next most significant bit is 0, you must borrow from a more significant bit that contains 1 and replace it with 0 and zeros up to that point becomes 1. Next we can see the example, subtract 100, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 to the base 2 minus 10100 0, 1, 0, 0 to the base 2. Here we have two binary numbers. Here we are going to subtract 10100 0, 1, 0, 0 from 10010010. 0, 0, 0. Here first we have written the first binary number that is 10010010. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Next we have written the second binary number 10100. 0, 0, 0. Next we can see how to subtract. Here first one 0 minus 0. When we subtract 0 from 0, we get 0 as a difference. Next one 1 minus 0. When we subtract 0 from 1, we get 1 as a difference. Next one 0 minus 1. Here we not able to subtract 1 from 0. So we have to borrow 1 from previous position. Next most significant bit. Our next most significant bit is 1. When we borrow this 1, this 1 will become into 0. The 0 will become into 1 0. Now we can subtract this 1 from this 1 0. When we subtract 1 from this 1 0, we get 1 as a difference. In its previous position, already we have replaced 1 with the 0. Now we can subtract the 0 from this 0, we get 0 as a difference. The next position 0, here also we are not able to subtract 1 from 0. So we have to borrow from previous position. Next most significant bit is 0. So we are not able to borrow from here. So we move on to next most significant bit. Here we have 1, so we can borrow this 1. To borrow this 1, this 1 will become into 0. Next bit 0 will become into 1 0. Now we can borrow 1 from this 1 0. When you borrow 1 from this 1 0, this 1 0 will become into 1. Next bit 0 will become into 1 0. Now we can subtract 1 from 1 0. When we subtract 1 from 1 0, we get 1 as a difference. Next come to its previous position. In the previous position, the 0 replaced by 1. 
So here we don't have any number to subtract. So we can put that same one here as a difference. The previous position already we have replaced 1 by 0. Here we don't have any numbers also to subtract. So we can stop here. Now this is our final solution. Finally we can write the result like this. Here 100, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 to the base 2 minus 1010 0, 1, 0, 0 to the base 2 is equal to 110110 1, 1, 0 to the base 2. So we can see another example. Example 2. Perform binary addition for the following. Minus 21 to the base 10 plus 5 to the base 10. Both numbers are given in decimal format. So first we have to convert this decimal number into its equivalent binary number. Here we have two methods. First one is repeated division by 2 and second one is powers of 2 methods. By using any one of the method we can convert our decimal number into its equivalent binary number. The textbook used powers of 2 method. We can use any one of the easiest method. Already I have explained both method. That link is also given in the description box. If you have any doubt you can follow that. Here our given decimal number is minus 21. So first we have to find binary number for plus 21. Then by using 1's complement and 2's complement we can find binary number for minus 21. Binary number for 21 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. That is written in 8 bit length. Here we have only 5 bits. We have added 3 more zeros in the leftmost bit. Our next decimal number is 5. Its binary number also written here. Its binary number is 101. Here we have only 3 bits. We have added 5 more zeros in the leftmost bit. Next we have to find 1's complement and 2's complement for negative numbers. Actually this is not binary number for minus 21. This is binary number only for plus 21. So for minus 21 we have to find 1's complement and 2's complement. Second decimal number 5 is positive only so no need to go for 1's complement and 2's complement. Step 2 find 1's and 2's complement for negative numbers. We have to find 1's and 2's complement only for negative numbers. In this table we have written binary number for plus 21. Next we have to find 1's complement and 2's complement. For 1's complement we have to invert all the binary digits. Invert means we have to change all zeros into 1 and 1 into zeros. First we have 3 zeros, all the 3 zeros inverted into 1. Then next we have 1, that 1 also changed to 0. Then 0 changed to 1, then 1 changed to 0, then 0 also changed to 1, then 1 changed to 0. Next we have to find 2's complement from 1's complement. When we add 1 with the least significant bit of 1's complement, we will get 2's complement. Here 0 plus 1, 1. Here we don't have any carry bit, so we can write its previous position as like this. Here this is our binary number for minus 21. Now we are having binary number for both decimal numbers, so we can add these two binary numbers. This is our binary number for minus 21. Next we have written binary number for 5. Next minus 21 plus 5 is equal to minus 16. Let's see how to add these two binary numbers. We are given our carry bit. Here 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 0. We can consider this 0 as a sum and 1 as a carry bit. That carry bit we have to add with the previous position of the bit. Previous position we have 1 plus 0. When we add 1 with 0 we get 1. Again we have to add this 1 with its carry bit. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 0. We have to consider 0 as a sum and 1 as a carry bit. That carry bit we have to add with the previous position. This previous position we have 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Again we have to add this 1 with its carry bit. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 0. So its previous position we are having 1, 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Again we have to add this 1 with the carry bit. Carry bit is 1. So 1 plus 1, 1 0. Again we have to consider this 0 as a sum and 1 as a carry bit. 
previous position we are having only two zero. Zero plus zero is equal to zero. Zero plus one is equal to one. Here we don't have any carry bit. We have only sum. Sum is one. Its previous position we don't have any carry bit. So one plus zero. One plus zero is equal to one. Next, its previous position one plus zero. One plus zero is equal to one. Again, one plus zero. One plus zero is equal to one. This is our final solution for minus sixteen to the base ten. Finally, we can write the result like this manner. Here, minus twenty one to the base ten plus five to the base ten is equal to one 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 zero 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 to the base two. We can see book exercise. We are given four binary computations. The first one is ten to the base ten plus fifteen to the base ten. Here both numbers are positive decimal numbers. So first we have to convert this decimal number into its equivalent binary number. Then directly we can add both binary numbers. There is no need to find ones complement and twos complement for any numbers. Next the second one minus twelve to the base ten plus five to the base ten. So first number is negative number. So first we have to find binary number for plus twelve. Then we have to find ones complement and twos complement to find binary number for negative number. Here no need to find ones complement and twos complement. Directly we can convert it into binary number. Then finally we can add these two binary numbers. Next the third one, fourteen to the base ten minus twelve to the base ten. Here both numbers are positive decimal numbers. So first we can find binary number for both positive numbers. Then directly you can subtract twelfth binary number from fourteenth binary number. Here our fourth one is minus two to the base ten minus minus six to the base ten. Here both decimal numbers are negative numbers. So first we have to find binary number for plus two and plus six. Then we have to find twos complement for both numbers. After find the twos complement only, we have to subtract minus six. Binary number from minus two's binary number. Children, please try to work out all these problems. If you have any doubt, you can comment me. Thank you, children.